Team that lead, but the Razorbacks, they shrink it a little bit. Meanwhile, Auburn trouble on vault. They fall back a little bit. Georgia still sits in that fourth spot. Jordan Weaver is in her fifth season as the Arkansas Razorbacks head coach. And she said, told us earlier this week, she said she really feels like this year the pieces are coming together. Well, yeah, of course she would say that after you just get a program record on the floor. And it's been a strength of this Arkansas team since head coach Jordan Weaver took over. And she really credits that to the conditioning and how much they've prepared. It's been their secret sauce throughout this season, especially she's really proud of the fact that they're able to land those last passes strong. Sometimes other teams, you see that fatigue settle in, but not this Arkansas team. And the other thing she's proud of is how hard they dance. And they don't just dance this hard in competition, but they do it in practice too. And that's what she thinks helps contribute to the swagger of this floor team. Yeah, I love how she said they, they practice that conditioning throughout the season. It isn't something you just do in the fall. They keep it up during the year, and you can see how it pays off here on what's going to be their final event today, the floor exercise. A few uh, last words before this floor rotation from Jordan Weaver. You know, these fans in the SEC, gymnastics is great, but the fans, they're the craziest in the, in the country. The fans in the SEC are different than any other. They give it their all, and we give it our all for them. Very loud, but in the best way possible. And you just feed off the crowd's energy. You can barely hear yourself think it's the best feeling. It's something that I don't take for granted. Center, John Roethlisberger, Sam Petrick, Taylor Davis. We are through three rotations. After one, Missouri had the lead. They expanded it into rotation two, but it shrunk a little bit. Those Razorbacks sneaking in. It's now .275 over the second place Arkansas team. You can see those big numbers. Three scores of 99 plus for both Arkansas and Missouri. Auburn gets a couple too, but they struggled earlier in that rotation. They've fallen back a little bit. Two falls on vault really did Georgia in, but man, they really look good on the uneven bar, Sam, in that last rotation. They did. The precision, the lines, the release moves, and of course, those dismounts were really clean and solid for them. So the top two teams right now, Missouri and Arkansas, feel like the two teams that could come out of here with this early session win. Sienna Shriver starts things off for Missouri, and boom! John, if you gave me one second to tell you something about Sienna, I was gonna say she does such a consistent job sticking this landing and setting up the rest of the vault lineup. I was saying it in my head, that's impressive. That was code for you telling me that I talk too much. That's <laughs> fine, I'm okay, I'm not, I've heard that before. Aria Brush now starting off things for Auburn. They have to be almost perfect and maybe get a little help from the top teams. And when I say help, maybe some mistakes from Missouri and Arkansas. If this is an event that Aria does well, the foundation and basics on this event is unmatched. Head coach Jeff Grava said that if the first couple people hit, the confidence builds, and that's what helps the momentum of this team, Aria could not have done a better job. Nia Howard on beam for Georgia in the leadoff spot. Jeff Grava also said early in the year they couldn't hit water if they fell out of a boat. Is how we talked about their uneven bars, but they've gotten it together now and certainly on a much better roll. And Nia is that Georgia athlete that's been having a really good day here. Calista Gamio on the right hand of your screen, starting things off for Arkansas. Keep in mind, they're trying to chase down Missouri, who let off ball with a 9825 from the driver. Finishing with that gainer layout full to the step on the dismount. That's their point of emphasis on this event for Georgia. The key 
where Arkansas on floor is not the height in their tumbling, they have that, not the performance quality, they have that. It's just sinking into those landings to minimize any possible deductions. Grace Ann Davis in the two spot now for Missouri. Doing a Lushenko layout full, back handspring onto the table, full twist. Oh, and she wanted that stuck landing, and it was a big vault. Looks like she could have had it. She's such a powerful athlete. It's hard to just stop moving when you hit the ground if you're not in the correct position. Those are the landings that Arkansas is going to want to get rid of. They're a team that can contend with the teams in the evening session, and it's these details that really count. Aria Brush, a 9-9 for Auburn in the leadoff spot. We said Auburn needs to almost be perfect in this rotation. Well, that's about as perfect as a leadoff as you can be. She's known for her leadoff, Sam, and she delivers yet again. Yeah, and that's an event that Auburn has a lot of talented athletes on. Nia Howard let off beam for Georgia with a 9-7-7-5. Olivia Hollingsworth, seeing if she can build on that 9-9 from Brush. Over on balance beam, Zora Morgan. For Jordan. The right side of your screen, that release move is called a Pike Jaeger. New for her this year. Looks like she was short on that handstand. Remember, you have 10 degrees before you get that deduction. An exclamation point when you stick the landing, maybe the judges will forget about it. Well, the, the handstand positions, you said at 10 degrees. I don't know about you, but that, that's a judgment call. That's a judgment one, call, yeah. One judge's 10 degrees might not be another judge's 10 degrees. It just depends on the angle they're looking at the bars as well. So Morgan finishing her beam routine for Georgia. She earned this spot because she has a high scoring potential here. And she ground off one and a half, and that's really what head coach Courtney Coupez Carter was talking to her athletes about is those landing deductions. Haley Klein now follows Calista Gambio's 9-8, so a good start score, actually just a quarter of a tenth lower than Missouri's start for score on the vault. Missouri, again, has a .275 lead over the Razorbacks heading into this rotation. Speaking of all, here's Kennedy Griffin. Her foot very close to that out of bounds, Sam. I looked up for a flag, did not see it as Kennedy Griffin delivers another vault for the Tigers. She drilled it to the floor. It's gonna be a good score on vault for them. Haley's a freshman and she said that a lot of the reasons she committed to this program was to take it to the next level. And another good routine for Arkansas. Olivia Hollingsworth for Auburn, a 9-9. So a pair of 9-9s to start this rotation for Auburn. Outstanding for them. Zora Morgan, the second gym, is to go for Georgia on the 9-8-5. Now Jada Battle here in the third spot. Again, Georgia quite a bit of a ways back in that fourth spot. But certainly they want to finish on a positive note here, Sam. And Jada's one of those elegant athletes big wobble on her leaps there. Gabby McLaughlin. 
Franklin on the right hand of your screen. Five and nine nine this season, and that is the two scores Auburn has so far on this event. Can she keep it going? Well, she started with a beautiful cast handstand. And those pirouette, pirouette is when you're twisting on top of the bar, those also have to be in the vertical position. She did a good job on her pirouettes, just some leg separation, trying to hang on to the stick. And they're gonna get they're gonna get her on that landing. Certainly moved her feet, didn't yeah. hold the position too. You have to hold that position at the end. So unfortunately, gonna get her there, but they have three yet to go. Looking for three more nine nines are the Auburn Tigers. And a hit routine for Georgia. Jada Battle finishing up there. Three more to go for them. Nice balance beam rotation. Kennedy Griffin on vault, a 9.85, the highest score for Missouri so far in this rotation. Nothing lower than a 9.825 for them. Maddie Jones on the floor. They have a 9.8 and a 9.85 so far, but they have got to put up 9.9 pluses if they want to catch the Missouri Tigers. Well, John, over here on floor for Arkansas, head coach Jordan Weaver can't say enough about what Maddie Jones has meant to this program, and she's doing it all as a walk-on. She actually told me she had attended a camp at Arkansas and took the initiative to call Coach Jordan Weaver and the staff and say, hey, I really think I would be a good fit there and I would appreciate your consideration. And it's been her mission to help upgrade this program. Talk about upgrade. Missouri on the left-hand side of your screen. Amari, one and a half. Those sticks are flying on vault. Almost certainly going to be their first 9-9 nine, nine or higher score, and that was a fantastic piece of gymnastics. Jones scored a 9975 last week. That means she got a 10 from one judge. Anya Turner, fourth chance to go for Georgia. Follows Jada Battles, 9825. Yeah, great story with Anya Turner on the left hand side of your screen. They offered her a walk on spot last fall, but she was hesitant. She didn't know she wanted to do college gymnastics. and. She's close with her dad. He said, why don't you try it and see what you think? And if you hate it, you can stop. And coaches are so happy she decided to stay. That triple series at the beginning of this routine, just beautiful for this roster. Gavin McLaughlin, a 9-8 in the third spot. Sophia Grove. Now for the Tigers. Oh! Opens big release move. Doesn't get enough rotation to get her dowel grip over the bar. Dowel is a piece of your grip that helps you hang on. So you gotta get that piece over the bar in order for it to actually help you. She's been out with some sickness. Some not, doesn't quite have the numbers under her belt as what she normally has. She's normally so consistent and solid for this Auburn team. Disappointing bar team there. Jocelyn Moore, she's been perfect on this event. Here she is from Missouri on vault. Yurchenko, one and a half. A little slide back. Mari Celestine, a 9.85 for her. Stuck Yurchenko, one and a half, so judging. Definitely tighter, but that's okay. Just hopefully it's consistent across the board. Yeah, her, she was good distance away from the bar. I'm pausing because I almost think she could have grabbed that just a little too far. Man, that is a bummer to be so close in that key moment. Maddie Jones for Arkansas at 9.9 .9 in the spot. Now Leah Smith. All have high scores of 995 or better this season for Arkansas. It's those landings, little shuffle. 
rules that the judges are paying attention to, especially in a championship meet. Look at that Anya Turner score for Georgia, 9.95. score on beam so far in this SEC championship. Billy Smith now on balance beam for Georgia. Putting together a nice rotation here. They're not going away. They're trying to finish strong. Beautiful front hand spring, back hand spring, back hand spring on the left hand side of your screen from Billy Smith. She's such a perfectionist, very technically sound, but if she's just a little off, she will repeat the skill as many times as needed just to make sure it's perfect. And that's really where we see that strong execution come in on this routine. Front toss with a, in a pike shape. Showing some diverse skills. It's the posture for me. It's the long lines and elegance she shows on this routine. And this is going to be a really big score. Cassie Stevens now on bars. Well, adding to the list of overachievers, John, Cassie Stevens was actually announced as the SEC Scholar Athlete of the Year for the second consecutive year, which now makes Auburn hold the most in the SEC. She's getting her master's in biomechanics currently. We've spoken so much about her gymnastics, but her ambition goes beyond her sport. Yeah, and it's very unique, Taylor, that an athlete learns new skills and combinations, and she actually learned a completely new combination for this bar routine to eliminate two possible handstand deductions. Hannah Horton now in the anchor spot, a 9.925 or better clinches this session for Missouri. Wow! I wonder if she knew how much was on the line here. What a finish for Missouri. You felt like maybe Arkansas could put the pressure on them, and certainly we had went all the final numbers in yet, but they just hit ball after ball and would not go. And she's the athlete that had the twisties. They were not even sure she was going to be in this lineup yesterday. What a big moment for this freshman. A diamond in the rough, if you will, that Shannon Welker is so happy that he found and has her in Columbia. What an athlete. A couple big routines here for Arkansas to finish. Laura Williams now. Frankie Price in the anchor spot. Follows Leah Smith's 9875. Jeffrey Scott on the left-hand side of your screen for Georgia. And by the way, she is following a pair of career high scores from Anya Turner and Lily Smith, matching 9.95. I'll tell you what is impressive about this Georgia Beam rotation. Four freshmen and two sophomores in their lineup, and they are putting up some of the biggest numbers on this event today. And you jinx them, John, because Jeffrey Scott was doing big gymnastics, unique gymnastics. I love to see the diverse flair that they're bringing to their routine construction. Unfortunately had that big wobble. Anna Horton, 9.9 .9 for her ball. It didn't clinch it out right with that ball, but certainly gonna be enough for Missouri to stay in that top spot. Just a hop on that last pass. Sometimes these athletes go to stick on floor, but floor is actually the only event that if you step to a lunge, there is no deduction. So it's a lot safer of an option that all the coaches really prefer their athletes to finish in a lunge shape. But the lunge can still be a deduction, right? It's gotta be a controlled lunge. It can't be a big, quick step. Yeah, to your point, John, if your feet slide, that's a deduction. If your chest is down, that's a deduction. 
Olivia Greaves now, somebody that Jeff Grava has high hope for, battled some injuries in her collegiate career, but certainly somebody that can do some big gymnastics here at Anchor and Auburn. And she's got a big time bar routine here. That is a Van Leeuwen, that release move from low to high. Really nicely done from Olivia Greaves, just coming back from an injury all year and an athlete. I'm excited to continue to watch throughout her career. Absolutely, Jeff Grave hoping to have her in the all around uh, at the back part of the season did not happen, but certainly gonna be a big contributor for that team in the future. Cassie Stevens, a 9.9 .9 for her bar team right before Olivia Grieve. So they did have that fall from Sophia Groth at 9.0. You can see it on the right hand. They will drop that. So a very good rotation on an event for Auburn that Jeff Grave admitted it's been trouble for them all season long. Lauren Williams a 9.8. Here we go with Frankie Price. That was a high this season of a 9.975. This is a lot of fun. This will not be to win the session. It is Missouri's session. They have it clinched, but nonetheless, some outstanding gymnastics right here. Opens with a double layout. You can't help but dance along and smile to Frankie's floor team. I mean, her teammates are. One thing Jordan Weaver told us coming into this competition, she wanted to continue to build that momentum they got at the end of the season. They put up their high score in their last meet of the year, and they want to keep that momentum going to regionals. Do you feel like they've done that here today, Sam? I think that I know Jordan Weaver very well, and I think she's going to say they had a lot of great spots, but a lot of areas for improvement, especially on their best event here floor. They left the door open on those landing deductions that I'm guessing is where the judges took a lot of from their lineup. And that was a phenomenal routine from Frankie and we talk about them not doing their best on floor, and if you look at their floor score, it's still a pretty good number, but this is a team that usually lights out every single time. Frankie opens with a double layout at that straight body stretch position. And ending in a combination pass with no deductions, that's that controlled lunge that we were talking about. So it was an exciting one here in session one of the, these SEC championships. It is the Missouri Tigers session, though they will have the top score. We're going to give you Frankie Price's score and wrap things up when we come back. A champion will be crowned in the second session of the SEC Gymnastics Championships with LSU Florida, Kentucky, and Alabama competing for the title right here on the SEC Network and the ESPN app. And Sam and I and Taylor will all be here, so stick around for that. But this session is a wrap, and it's the Missouri Tigers. They come in and they get it done. 0.225 over the slightly higher ranked Arkansas Razorbacks, and then it's Auburn in third, Georgia in fourth. Taylor Davis is with one of the leaders of that Missouri <laughs> team. Taylor? Who had a fantastic day. Sienna, the day session has been claimed by you and your teammates. What led to your success today? Just like being ourselves this week. We were trying not to like try too hard, not think about the skills too much, more just have fun with our teammates because we know how to do the work. We do it every day. So just taking a little easy today and just be really excited being here. It's amazing to watch. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you guys. Sam, talk about today today's competition a little bit. Missouri, what would you think of them? Could their score hold up and get them into the top four? It'll be interesting to see. Hopefully the judging is going to be just as consistent in this evening session, so we'll see about that. But all these teams really did a good job of learning what 
they needed more work on in the gym and where those bright spots were in those key pivotal and pressure filled moments that they're hoping to have later this season. So heading into the postseason for these four teams, do you see an NCAA qualifier, top eight after the regionals? Do you see one of these teams making it? I think if Missouri can continue this positive trend of sticking in those key moments, we might see them make it all the way. And Arkansas certainly has the ingredients as well, but it, 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 we saw some mistakes from them here in SEC championships. You excited for tonight? So excited. We are going to have a good one tonight. It is going to be the second session. And the big dogs, the top four ranked teams, will be facing off right here on the SEC Network 8 Eastern. Don't miss that. Our final score, Missouri gets the win. 0.225 over the Arkansas Razorbacks. We'll see how well that holds up. For Taylor Davis, Sam Peshek, I am John Roethlisberger. So long from New Orleans College Softball, Auburn versus Texas A&M. Coming up. Thank you.